home internet. A little delayed, but we are on our way. Quarterfinal day number one, as it turns out. LSU and top-seeded Tennessee kick off the quarterfinal round here at Auburn. After a completely normal day of softball, a 14-inning game to start the... This was the Danica Coffee spot the last couple of years, and for the first 16 games of this year, LSU has shuffled the deck to get to Daniel in the postseason. And she takes one way up and in. A wild ball four and a leadoff walk for Sierra Daniel. Are that similar? Three ones a little low. And Pickens, whose control has been off pinpoint this season, walks the first two Tigers. 2-2. Two -two. A ground ball to shortstop. That's one and only one. The play made by Laura Mueller there. So one of the runners advances, Daniel to third. Rudity's aboard at first on a six unassisted fielder's choice. You do a 31.5% whiff rate, best in the SEC. Well, Gutierrez has the best whiff rate among hitters. She puts it in play here to first, and she'll bring in the first run. Wait, hang on a second. Gutierrez is going to be called back. because when Gutierrez was running down to first base, she not only stopped, but it's a fact that she took a step Ooh. back. Seemingly, they might review this. Beth Torina is talking about it. Looked like maybe it happened after the tag. Let's take another look at it here. But I did notice that she did take the step back. She stops and kind of goes backward. And you cannot go back. It wasn't quite full hobby, but it was illegal from Raylene. 3-0 and for Pleasance now. <laughs> Takes a walk, third of the inning. A most unusual first inning it's been. The bases are low. Newland, center field, and that ball's going to be grabbed by the shortstop. Mailer too late. Only one run scores. Rudity took a big lead around third, dove back into the bag. But Allie Newland, who was 0 for 6 yesterday, drives in the first run for LSU. This LSU team seems confident at the plate right now against Pickens. She gets an inside pitch, and instead of getting to the deep into the count and letting Pickens go outside, she attacks the inner half. This is able to shoot one right up the middle. And Rudity, who is about halfway, I thought she was going to continue to try to score to see how. First run for LSU, which had just three and 14 innings yesterday. Soft ground ball from Badger on to second. That's the end of a most unusual inning, but LSU gets a run against Pickens. The runs per game, fifth in the nation in home runs per game. And Kiki pops one up, finally into fair territory. Allie Newland on the 10th pitch will put her away. Tony puts one up in the air toward Newland as well. She'll be called off by Briggs, the center fielder. Two flyouts to start the game for Kelly Lynch. In the crowd for McKenna Boo Gibson, Tennessee third baseman. And Gibson is hit. Just a third time this year, Boo Gibson. Gibson will run from first on a two out pitch. It's inside. Back-to-back -back free passes for Tennessee. They've got two on with two out in the first. Down to third, played on a hop by Madison Manning, and Lynch gets out of the first, strands a pair. Cause you to have three walks. That ball's a little flare to the right side. Madison Manning with a leadoff base hit. A young Tiger in just her 11. It's a confident pitch for her to throw. Petty left side. Ground ball to Mueller at short. Couldn't field it cleanly, but was right near the back. And she gets the force at second, six to four. But for eight offensively. Check swing down to third. Tennessee will get the lead runner again. Gibson feeds Destiny Rodriguez. Five for fielder's choice. And Daniel replaces Petty. Career game number 251 for Sierra Briggs, who slaps another to third and a three ground out inning. Gets Carlin Pickens back on the horse. One nothing LSU midway through two. Just working through that soreness, and even if she doesn't go in today, just loosening up. That ball lined to left, and there's Newland. 
A sensational left fielder with a nice staggering. Maybe a good thing for LSU. We'll see. Rodriguez to center. And Briggs is there for the robbery. The Gold Glove winner, Sierra, four times under Beth Torino. Ball out off the corner, ball four. Katsuyanopoulos works a walk on seven pitches. And Katsuyanopoulos was so far. 558. In the left field, there's a base hit for Mueller out of the ninth spot. And the first hit of the game for Tennessee. And a pop-up. Center field, Briggs is there. She makes the catch, and the inning is... 3-2. That is on the inside corner of the first strikeout for Pickens today. Uh, another full count. Gutierrez with a slow ground ball to third. And the seventh ground out of the game for Pickens in eight outs. Helped out by on that velocity that we talked about, 74, 75, and that was a process in the fall. Left side, that ball is bobbled and then caught by Gibson at third to retire Taylor Pleasance. It was huge for LSU. Leadoff hitter, three-hole hitter, or excuse me, third base, and their leadoff hitter, third baseman, I should say, teams that you think might make it to the Women's College World Series, and then... A calm third strike. Lynch gets Pooney and Gibson looking back to back, working. Eight of her 11 came away from Knoxville. West Ooh. takes uh, another called third strike. Three Ks looking. Through that walk, she was the one that came around to score. Newland buries one in the right field, turned around the right fielder, Pinnell, and knocked it off the wall. Allie Newland slides in with a leadoff double in the Tiger fourth. Macy Bajeron, little screwy ground ball to the right side. That spins over to Rodriguez, and Bajeron advances Newland to third with one out. That's a productive out. Time with that. Here's the 11th throw. Lynch pops it up. Left side foul territory, and Gottschall wins the duel. Took 11 pitches to 279 overall. Petty with a high fly ball into right. Pinnell tracks it back. Pinnell is at the wall, and Pinnell has just enough space. That was one batter too late for LSU. A great escape by Gottschall. All the way to the University of Washington. A very good career there. 184 games. Gets the outside corner again. Lynch has struck out the last four. Ball and she out. takes one off the plate. Lynch bidding for a fifth consecutive backwards K and panel wouldn't buy. Destiny Rodriguez for second time. Rodriguez pops one up to Petty, who records out number two. And you gotta get with us. Kate Malvo, the assistant. Takes his pitch up the middle for a base hit. Katsianopoulos has reached twice out of the eight spot. Tennessee's got two on in the four. There. Leach swings and misses strike three. The first for a game, Newland, Rudity, Newland again. And it's been Daniel twice in this tournament as she flares out to the shortstop, Laura Mueller. Because she talked about ball. As Peyton Gottschall walks Briggs there. She talked about, you know, really going through it with a fine two teams will be in the top eight national seed. Rudity back up the middle on the ground. One out for Mueller at second. That's all. Fielder's choice six unassisted, and they are two down. That game, but I do believe it was Beaver that she did against. On the ground toward the middle and gets through the glove of Rodriguez, the second baseman. Gutierrez with a two strike base hit. Two on for the Tigers. Briggs and Gutierrez, the seniors on base. Pleasance, the senior at the plate. 
the backbone of this LSU team. And Pleasance drives one up the middle. Malloy cannot make the catch. She dropped the line drive, and Briggs slides in to score. A costly mistake by Malloy. It was Rudity, the runner, at second after the fielder's choice as Taylor Pleasance makes it 2 nothing. And she squares up this outside pitch, just hits it on a line right at Kiki Malloy, and she is there. This is a play that she absolutely is capable of making and then some, but it hits off the heel of her glove before her hand is able to cover it and keep it in her glove. Another hard hit ball for Pleasance, another RBI for her too. Just the third whiff, second real swing and miss for Tennessee pitching. And there's another, up and away, Gottschall gets the out, it's number seven. Little half swing grounder to second base, she won't get it. Carly Petty throws her out. Malloy has seen 20 pitches in three at-bats. But Lynch, a couple of long foul balls from Zeta Puri. Swings, grounds one to second, skips away from Petty, and Puri. Punches a base hit, the third for the Lady Vols. Runs on the year. Drives this ball the other way. And Rudity was well positioned for the second out. Keep her out there. Riley West with two down. First pitch swinging, West drills one to left. Newland can't make the catch this time of a sinking West line drive. And it's another two out hit for Tennessee. Nugent up the middle, base hit Sophia Nugent. Here comes the pinch runner all and she scores on the high throw to the plate. Nugent takes second behind the play. She's a lady ball now and she's got Tennessee on the board in the SEC quarters. Nugent has been clutch for Tennessee, especially late in the season. Goes down and gets that drop ball. Hits it so hard and then Briggs airmails her throw well over the head of Maisie Bajeron. But Sophia Nugent coming through for this team like she has multiple times before. And Tennessee still in business with two runners in scoring position after leading or after trailing by two, cut the lead in half. West and Nugent, the runners. And they will be stranded. Bajeron completes the out at first. The Tigers and Vols exchange volleys. A six have seen a run, and the fifth saw runs for both teams. Macy toward the middle. Crown ball picked it short. Mueller's throw is not there. Fabulous effort by Laura Mueller, but an infield. We're hanging out by the right field foul pole. Maya Townsend's on to pinch run. And a bunt laid down by the freshman Manning. Well done by Madison Manning. Only her 11th college game. And she lays down a perfect sacrifice to move Townsend to second. Cuts on Opelous was so good behind the plate last year. You get a new catcher, you better be this good. And Sophia Nugent has been. Two and two. Got her swinging. Carlin Pickens has found the strikeout touch. And up against Sidney Berzon. Destiny Rodriguez first in the inning hits it on the screws and right into the glove of Taylor Pleasance. Cutsinopolis spins that one to Sidney. Wow. A magnet ball into the glove of Berzon for out number two. Already. Malloy looming with a 3-2. And Mueller foul tips it into the mid of Bajeron, strike three. Sidney Berzon fresh as a daisy. The SEC is loaded again, number two. It tells you that LSU did a lot of its work early. Swing and a miss. Off speed at 64. Her off speed is... Ground ball off the mitt of Pickens. Ricochets in the left, and that redirection is good for a Rudity single. 
times on the year. She is a contact making machine. A ground ball here to second base. The tag was applied by Rodriguez on Rudity. It's a double play to end the inning. Right now the action is in her favor on 3-1. Malloy, right center field, fading fast, but not fast enough. Briggs is on the case, and Berzon dispenses of Malloy to start the seventh. Karen Weekly in Tennessee trying to pull a double-double. Two strikes, Berzon gets her swinging at strike three. Left to get, or wait, hang on a second. Zeta Puni is going to be called back here on a foul tip is the ruling. An uncaught foul tip is the ruling. Chelsea Clark threw her arms up. Beth Torino wants to ask about this. It does not look like that ball hit the dirt. Whether that's a foul tip or not, and judging on by that, I don't think so. It's caught, and it's a swing. That's correct, yeah. So, so they will stick with the on-field decision, so Beth will the challenge. on the field was the ball was fouled off and hit the ground, resulting in a foul ball. LSU is challenging that this is a caught ball for a drop third strike. The previous play is under further review. So we appreciate the clarity there from Marty Abzisha. A ground ball to third. It gets through the dive of Manning. And McKenna Gibson keeps Tennessee's repeat hopes alive. You may need to check your pulse as well. <laughs> Riley West. First pitch swinging on the ground to second. Petty to first, and it's over. LSU rocks top-ranked Tennessee. And the Tigers are ticketed for the SEC semis. I mean, how about the pitching performances today from Kelly Lynch, who gave such a quality start, and then Burzon coming in relief after throwing 208 pitches yesterday against Alabama in a 14-inning complete game win. You wouldn't have ever been able to tell with the way that she threw. And then got to give two credit to offensive players, Sierra Daniel, for starting off this game with the quality at bat, finding a way on and scoring in that first inning. And Taylor Pleasance for the game-winning RBI in the fifth, breaking out of a slump. And she has been so good here at the SEC tournament and pivotal in clutch moments for LSU.